French President Emmanuel Macron is still on his world tour. And during a press conference down in Australia, things got a little awkward. French President Emmanuel Macron raised a few eyebrows during a press conference in Australia by calling Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's wife, quote, delicious. I wanted to thank you for your welcome. Thank you and your delicious wife for your warm welcome. Oh, back off, Pepe Le Pew. That's someone's wife. You know, it would have been cool if the Australian Prime Minister thought it was some sort of custom and just rolled with it. You know, if he was like, oh, thank you, President McCone. Uh, yeah, your wife is quite shaggable as well. Uh, <laughs> I'll totally snack on her, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, apparently, this was caused by a little translation issue, because apparently the French word for delicious also means delightful. Yeah, which is good, yeah. For a minute, though, I was worried. <laughs> I was worried that when Macron came to the US, instead of him rubbing off on Trump, it was Trump that was rubbing off on him. <laughs> like, they held, they held hands, and then suddenly Macron was like, Madame et Monsieur, we are going to make France great again! <laughs> Who's gonna pay for it? Belgium, Belgium. <laughs> delicious. Oh, speaking of delicious, let's check in with Harold Bornstein. Trump's former doctor and aging bongo salesman. <laughs> now, you may, not, you may not remember this, but the reason we all came to know Dr. Bornstein was because back in late 2015, he wrote Trump an official doctor's letter saying that Trump was so healthy that we'd be dumb not to have him as president. <laughs> well, today, we learned something about the letter that we suspected all along. This morning, the doctor who during the campaign proclaimed President Trump will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency the says president. that diagnosis came straight from Trump himself. Dr. Harold Bornstein, President Trump's longtime doctor in New York, signed and released this letter with that statement in December of 2015. But now CNN reports Dr. Bornstein told them those were Trump's words. Quote, he dictated that whole letter. I didn't write that letter. He wrote it himself. Yeah, of course Trump wrote it himself. <laughs> really, the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency? This is the least surprise reveal ever. It's like if at the end of The Sixth Sense, they were like, and Bruce Willis was alive the whole time. <laughs> but like, yeah, that's what we thought. <laughs> I'm just amazed by how everything in Trump's world turns out to be a lie. Like, even his doctor's note is a lie. <laughs> his doctor's note. In fact, like, I wouldn't be shocked if Dr. Bornstein is just Trump in disguise. <laughs> you take off the glasses, you know, you shave the beard, take all the hair on the sides, put it on top. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so... Right now, President Trump is not on good terms with his doctor. But on the other hand, things have gone south with another one of his lawyers. Fox News has now confirmed that Ty Cobb is out as the president's in-house Russia counsel. Less than a month ago, the president tweeted this. The failing New York Times purposely wrote a false story stating that I am unhappy with my legal team on the Russia case. Wrong. I am very, all caps, very happy with my lawyers, John Dowd, Ty Cobb, Jay Sekulow. They are doing a great job. Yeah, they're doing such a great job that two of them are now gone. <laughs> You know, whenever Trump tweets that someone's job is safe, it's like that video from The Ring. Seven days later, you're gone. That's how it works. <laughs> so it's now official. Ty Cobb is out. And you know shit must be brewing if a guy who looks like Ty Cobb is bailing. <laughs> like, do you know... Do you know what it takes to scare a guy who had cholera during the Spanish-American War? Do you know what it takes to scare that person? I'm just saying, things are looking serious. And now, uh, this is interesting. To replace the Monopoly man's nephew, uh, Trump... <laughs> Trump has hired a new lawyer, Emmett Flood, a man who's best known for defending President Clinton during his impeachment. Yeah. I always feel like, uh, you can tell somebody did the thing when they want the lawyer for the guy who did the thing. <laughs> it's like, I didn't kill nobody, uh, but who was that O.J. lawyer again? Uh, 